What's up? Great to by 7 here and welcome back. <laughs> Alright, so yesterday, well, we finally beat, well, no, I mean, yesterday I beat uh, the Batman game. And then yesterday, you know, you guys, you know, I, I, I did another video. And then you guys came along for that one, I hope. And uh, yeah, now we're about to kick some more bat ass or something like that, so. Wait, hold up. I've already beat you guys yesterday. What, what's going on here? Bro, it doesn't matter where you're working at, you're always gonna be working with idiots, okay? <laughs> Hold up, I'm just I'm just I'm I'm warming up, y'all. Give me a second. It's gonna it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. Don't worry about all the punches I'm taking right now. Plan on celebrating the new year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. Weapons in exchange for some stiff. A uh, uh, Ferris Boyle. He's in Gothcorp last I saw. You're lying. Gothcorp doesn't make weapons. What? No, I. Uh, Gothcorp, I swear. Look, I've got the entry codes. I'll take those. I wonder how he does it to the point where he does that, like, actually it snap it in sense. and kill them. Gothcorp involved in weapons tech. There's got to be more to this. You know, one crazy detail that always kind of gets me. So in Arkham uh, Asylum, you can actually, like, zoom up on these guys and see, like, their chest going up and down. And so like that, get their breathing. They took that out for some reason. No why. It was kind of cool. Be a spoiler, but that's still cool. Three, two, one. Air three, I'm root. Uh, it'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes, like, uh, for some reason, like, uh, over time, games, uh, get downgraded more. So, I mean, just... Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's a good example right now. Because I was going to say Ubisoft was a good example of game getting downgraded but they downgrade they used to downgrade their game from like trailers and stuff like that i don't remember them doing it too much now but it's because most of those trailers are now cinematic trailers so <laughs> it's not a lot of comparisons so but that's something that i never really like, understand like i understand the point of cinematic trailers but i don't understand the, the hype around cinematic trailers they don't really represent like what the game is actually going to be
Ha ha ha, under the weather, it's cold. Got it. Just like the uh, Firefly uh, passwords on the bridge. You come on it. Sure thing, boss. What are you going to do with me? You? <laughs> Assuming your friend keeps cooperating, I'm sure we won't have to do any change. Get on. Damn it. Wouldn't let me uh take that thing down. men were armed how'd you do that where are they taking ferris mr boyle they uh they're heading to the propellant research wing these guys have been raiding the whole facility do you have the codes to this security door no i don't have clearance but my boss does a bunch of them took him to the organics lab through the lobby i'll make sure they don't hurt your boss get yourself to safety Right. <clears throat> uh, hello. Thing is working. Treat the code from the security guard in the organics lab. You never know, maybe that guy did end up having fun. Oh, okay, so. I don't know why the music's still bumping, but. Shy all of a sudden, huh? What happened to that spirit of share? I, I'm cooperating. I'm cooperating. I know, I know, but we all got jobs, see? And, and my job is to shoot you if I don't think you're telling me the truth. I told you there are no weapons here. It's just plans. We got a sniper and a jammer. I'm sorry, we got a few snipers and jammers. Then, you believe me? You know what? I do. I do believe you. But to be honest, <laughs> I just really love my job. Okay, I actually didn't know if that was gonna work or not. Is out of the way. Oh, we don't have any special dudes around here either. <laughs> yeah, sure. 
I got stole my lunch money. I'm uh, I'm back in my, I'm back in my money back. So happy you didn't see me. Yo, I legit thought that was just those two, like three dudes. GNN! You just saved my life! You have codes I need to access the propellant research wing. I do. Here. Take them. You're going to save Mr. Boyle, right? It's not safe inside Gothcorp. You need to get out of here. Don't worry. I won't be hanging around. And, uh, thanks, you know? Not just for me. For Gotham. All right. Yeah. Like I said, I really don't mind like the more like linear structure that this uh, that this uh, DLC has. So I think it could actually it could possibly work. So like, of course, there's gonna be those few people, people but like, oh my god, there's no with but less open world and stuff like that. But it's like, you know, not every game needs to be open world. I mean, I know every game pretty much is open world these days, but come on, come on, variety people. <laughs> I made you do your own, dude.
just lose my combo there. Doesn't matter. Feeling prep arena. And it's a bunch of G too. So I wonder if we're like in the G fuel factory. Get it? G. We're in the fueling arena. No? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Is that supposed to be an easter egg to Ratcatcher or something? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a pretty vague easter egg, but I feel like Ratcatcher deserves more of a uh, screen time. Just like Great White Shark, too. Some of the Batman villains, you know? That are uh, lesser known. Danger. Temperature anomaly detected in Cryo Pump 4. Potential breaches in coolant outtake. Danger. Multiple breaches in coolant outtake detected. Security alert. Unauthorized activation of access panel D-17. Security alert. D-17 D nuts. I mean, it seemed a little cold there, bud. You probably want to, you know, get that cool bat suit that you were used to blood out. Ooh. A lot of goons. Um. Are these guys working together? And I ain't giving him up, unless I get what he's giving you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I think is the weapon I would promise. I know you're holding out on me. This will not end well for you. Oh, oh I think you're confused about what exactly is about what. <laughs> They were about to like Sub Zero rip his head off with the spinal cord or something. I'll give you one chance to let him go. Rats are meaningless to a man who has lost everything. <laughs> Well, 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 Mr. Penguin, here we are again, huh? <laughs> you, this is your fault. You get me out of this. What's Freeze after? Why does he need Boyle? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it. That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? Well, you'll never break through this ice. Gorthor has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill, a cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still in my alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I'd better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. 
that's where um, we fought that nerd bird. So one of Batman by like main dudes. They're in temporary cryostasis. I'll need my thermal gloves to safely release them. Without the XC suit, I'd never survive in that cloud of cryo vapor. You know what's kind of crazy? Like now I'm thinking about it, like how the Batman's not like freezing his nips off. This but like I started taking cold showers after my workout, and legit, the cold does not like bother me as much anymore as it used to. So, and it's like, well, that's how the Vikings used to do it, I guess. You know, take cold water, and there's just they just become used to it to the point where it literally just doesn't affect you. So, okay, it's pretty cray cray. Uh, once again, the thing doesn't work. Okay, at least I can disable that. Okay, okay. Just, just let me think. Please, just leave me alone. I hate you. Where'd you come from? That was incredible. Come with me. I'm getting you out of here. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. But isn't Freeze gonna try to stop you? With any luck. Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. Good boy. I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the bad wing drop it there. It's on its way. Hell yeah, we're finally getting the suit, boy. The suit. No. Again, there's supposed to be like another like anarchy like thing around here, but I don't see it. Oh well. I saw you at the end there, my boy. The fuck? <laughs> I have no clue what happened there. He died. Okay, whatever. XC suit drop incoming, sir. The uh, new suit. Here we go. Uh. 
Okay, so I'm guessing you dropped it on the roof because the camera was pointing that way. the Ben Asslick Batman. The thermal gloves should help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir. And the suit will provide... Sir, I suggest you deal with the last of these activists as soon as you're able. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. Alright. Well, you know what? We'll go ahead and uh, do that then. So we might as well just finish it off. Plus, you know, we get a little bit of a exercise with the suit before, um, you know, before engaging in the main story. Gotham is a prison and the police its warden. To protect and serve, their motto goes. And they do. Protect and serve themselves. We live in fear of their gaze, their billy clubs and guns. When they walk down the streets, we avert our eyes. We tremble when they speak. Who are these people, really? What drives them? Is it justice? Honor? No. They want power, and the badge gives it to them. So those we look to for protection instead inspire fear. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. Gotham is a prison and the police its wardens. To protect and serve their motto. Ooh, okay, so is that the uh, electric shocks anymore? It's the, the heat the heat shit. You live in fear of their gaze, their Billy clubs and guns. When they walk down the streets, we avert our eyes. We tremble when they speak. Who are okay, that's everything, isn't it? Oh no. Are these people really? What drives them? Is it justice? Honor? No. They want power, and the badge gives it to them. And so those we look to for protection instead inspire fear. Gotham is a prison, and the police its wardens. To protect and serve, their motto goes. And they do. Protect and serve themselves. We live in fear of their gaze, their billy clubs and guns. When they walk... Damn it. The bombs are still active. There must be a second failsafe detonator nearby. I don't have much time. Keep going up. Okay, now I'm getting really confused here. Okay, so go this way. He has like spikes on the end of his uh, boot. That's badass.
Not fuck that. We ain't doing all that. Dude. If I thermocharge a batarang, I can use it to knock out that frozen security block. Damn cold. We must survive. Found once again. Then what are you doing in the back? You stole a cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah, but it ain't here. Bigwood said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. <laughs> that's so awesome. I love this guy. It's tough that he never came back in the series, but it's so funny how they keep bringing him back. You. the first cryogenic component i'm not gonna lie i was so excited to meet loose lips once again to the point where i didn't even pay attention to what the fuck i'm supposed to be doing I'm just gonna leave. Hopefully, that's the uh, right way to go. Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. something up with a fire. Yeah, but he ain't called. You don't think... I mean, you don't think Freeze would have turned on him. I wouldn't doubt it. That guy ain't human. Looks at everything like it's his next meal. I know. Those eyes, goggles, whatever. Wow. Gives me... well, chills. Are you two quivering idiots sure you're in the right line of work? was so bullshit. Oh my god. What? What the fuck? What is going on? I thought it did, First of all, I thought there's up your thingy. Secondly, I love how the smoke grenade just decided to hit my feet and not the actual fucking area I threw it at. Thirdly... 
What the fuck? Oh my god. Fucking bullshit. Whatever, man. And that's how you ring in the new year. <laughs> that was so fucking garbage, man. Whatever. Uh, Sir, try this again. Shut up, Alfred. I know. He just Thanks, said it. I'm on it. Shut up. First of all, I mean, you don't think Freeze would have turned on him. Wait, so, I, so it did actually diffuse his gun. I guess the game just decided not to work. Those eyes, goggles, whatever. Wow. Gives me, well, chills. Are you two quivering idiots sure you're in the room? Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. How much longer we gotta get this broke? Stupid weather. Penguins. Now, Batman, please, for the love of fuck. Thank you for throwing it at High Lash where I wanted to throw it. That, that again, not where I expect you to go, but sure. You okay? Hi. Hello? <laughs> Alright, fuck this place. This place got way too cold that I started bringing out the more of the boots. Wait, whoa, is that a mine? Oh, no, I think it's a thing that I can throw at a thing and then a thing will happen. Or something. Yep, that works. Okay, I love how that guy was gonna come up behind me and smack me in the back of the head just to say, man, you know what? It's not worth it. Batman, that was not who I wanted to do that to. Uh, I pressed the freaking button again and then he just decided not to work. I was gonna say, this guy must have paid his bills or something. Oh, the game's not letting me do what I want right now. Alfred, I have a 
assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. Look it's at the. Here that Ferris had Mr. It says Mr. Freeze's Price. Shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. The Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Gothcorp now. How did they mess up that bat? Like, I knew. Okay, so, like, in the first episode, or, like, of this thing, um, I, I thought I caught it, but I was like, nah, there's no way they made that mistake. But now that I'm seeing it more often, it's amazing how they missed that. Like, they keep calling him Mr. Fries. Like, Fries? Really? Fries? And, uh, man, they just kept it in the game. That's so weird. That is so weird. For some reason, Batman does not want to grapple on this roof. Must be a childhood home or something. Mr. Fries. Like, I know his, like, last name is Fries. Uh, cause, you know, Nora. You know, his wife, but... Uh, man, it's so weird. All right, well, I think this is actually would be a perfect place to go ahead and end the episode. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep these episodes 40 minutes long because, you know, they're, it, it, they're supposed to be two and a half hours. I don't know how long this thing is going to be, but it's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, man. I wish, like, more of the Batman games had, like, DLCs this long. Not like in Arkham Knight where they were, like, three seconds long or something. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It's another reason why Arkham Origins is such an underrated game, by the way. Sorry, it, it, it is. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.